Hello people on the internet and welcome to another episode of Weird and Wonderful, the short form series where we look at some of the strangest mods in a set of Corsa and match them against each other on a lap time leaderboard. The leaderboard is available on my website, which should go under revision by an actual professional in the near future. But let's check out this episode's contender, the Ford F350 Steer Truck. The Steer Truck is made by Stereo, who has had a mod featured on this series before, with the banana. Stereo has a bunch of awesome mods, so I will link his race department page in the description. Do check it out. But let's get over to this beautiful Ford F350, which first off, looks amazing. It comes in four variants, a bear frame, flatbed, pickup, and of course the steer truck, which is the subject of this video. The steer truck is a 1969 Ford F350, which has 235 old school horsepower and weighs a whopping 4 tons. The top speed of this heavy hitter is 110 km an hour, and I suspect this will be one of the slower cars on the list of Tsukuba lap times. So let's check the info tab for the car, which says now the truck owned by a wealthy family who lost everything, driven by the one son who had no choice but to keep them all along. It's arrested development. So as some of you may have gathered already, even before this info, the steer truck is of course based on the steer car from the TV show Arrested Development. Now I'm not familiar with that show at all, but I checked the internet for information and apparently it features in the show for all five seasons. And of course I had to check Google images for reference and the mod looks very much like the car featured in the show. Driving wise it's very good, pretty much exactly what I would expect a 4 ton truck in a set of Corsa to feel. It's not fast by any means, nor is it very good at taking corners. Not exactly a car you usually would choose for racing, and yet here we are. The AI does sometimes struggle in the car, going into corners with too much speed, and sometimes flipping over, something that is very entertaining. But all in all it's a very fun car to drive with the potential for very hilarious moments. Beware of hop-ons though. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one, so thanks to Stereo for creating this magnificent beast. The track is of course the Top Gear test track, which we all know and love. It's 2.8 kilometers on an abandoned airfield, and the track is available on a Seto Corsa Club, and will also be linked below. But I guess that's it, and that means it's time to put the steer track around Tsukuba to see how it compares against the other weird and wonderful creations. As a side note, I will also take the pickup version around the Nordschleife sometime soon. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.